Song, did you see me walking by the Buick repairs? I was thinking of you having a Coke in the heat. It was your face I saw on a movie magazine. No, it was Fabian's. I was thinking of you, and down at the railroad tracks where the station has mysteriously disappeared, I was thinking of you as the bus pulled away in the twilight. I was thinking of you, and right now... Well, there you have, and right now, meaning, and right now, I am thinking of you, and right now, I'm going to end this poem, and right now, he would walk in the door, he'd fling the door open, he'd take off his coat and hat, drop them or hang them on a hook or whatever, sit down at a chair next to a table right by the door and begin typing on a poem that was like already half on the page without, as far as I could tell, rereading any of the preceding poem. He did do some revising, but sometimes instead of revising, he'd write three poems on one page. Frank himself referred to these casually written poems as I do this, I do that poems. And the very first one that was, uh, the first great one of that of those poems, he wrote right after the death of, of uh, Jackson Pollock. And this was really written after he got back from lunch, no question about it. A step away from them. It's really an elegy for two of his friends who died, Bunny Lang and John Latouche. It's my lunch hour, so I go for a walk among the home-colored cabs. First, a walk down the sidewalk where laborers feed their dirty, gleaming torsos, sandwiches, and Coca-Cola with yellow helmets on. They protect them from falling bricks, I guess. <laughs> then onto the avenue, where skirts are flipping above heels and blow up over grades. The sun is hot, but the cabs stir up the air. I look at bargains and wristwatches. They're cats playing in the sawdust. On to Times Square where the sign blows smoke over my head and higher the waterfall pours lightly. A Negro stands in a doorway with a toothpick, languorously agitating. A blonde chorus girl clicks. He smiles and rubs his chin. Everything suddenly honks. It is 12.40 of a Thursday. There are several Puerto Ricans on the avenue today, which makes it beautiful and warm. First Bunny died, then John Latouche. Then Jackson Pollock. But is the earth as full as life was full of them? And one is eaten, and one walks past the magazines with nudes and the posters for bullfights and the Manhattan storage warehouse, which they'll soon tear down. I used to think they had the armory show there. A class of papaya juice and back to work. My heart is in my pocket. It is poems by Pierre Reverdy. And there's no question in my mind that that's exactly what was in his pocket, it was the poems by Pierre Reverdy. <laughs>